Hey everybody, I'm Slossastic and welcome back on this new video and today I'm going to show you how I change Nala into Scar on Photoshop. So let's go. Okay, so remember this character in my Lion King Family Tree Part 1, so the Scar Cub, I'm going to show you how I made it. And it's pretty easy. What you need is this picture of Nala and this picture of Scar. You need to create a new document. Then what you need is to take this picture. So you maintain control A to select everything. And then you do C to copy and then V to past on your new document and then you need to just get it smaller a little bit all right and then you need to get the picture of scar what we need is only the nose only this part i'm gonna select just the nose and then i'm copying and i'm going to paste it on here all right then when you have this thing, what you need to do is to find, so you can just reduce the opacity. And what you need to do is to find the right angle for the nose. Also, you need to remember that cubs have smaller faces, so they have smaller nose and all. I'm going to remove all this so what I need to do is to erase what I don't need I'm doing everything with my mouse but you can do it with whatever you want if you have any graphic tablet or whatever you can do it with a graphic tablet it works too okay so that's what we have it's basically the same thing. It's not too bad, I think. And then we can do something more, you know, with wrap. You can do something more like that, just to reduce a little bit. So it's basically just photo editing. You edit a photo. And who knows, maybe this one is going to be better than my previous one. <laughs> it's possible because the more you use Photoshop and the better you get. So you always find new technicals and whatever. So when you check, we are a little bit too big over there. But it's okay because his nose is not like Nala nose. And then when you have this, you just have to redo all the lines over. And then you have to you, you have your scar, you have your base. So I remade the big lines, like it looks like that, and then I poof. I'm gonna show you how you do that. So you remade the lines. All right. What I want now, because I don't really want this thing, because bah. I'm gonna try, because I did it on this one, and I think. Now I look at it, I think it looks a little weird. So I want to remake it better. So I'm gonna try. When we check on, on Scar, he has this shape of head. So we want something like that, more than something round like Nala. That's why I hide Nala. So here you can go crazy. Let's say crazy, but it's not really crazy. You just have to create those little hair so you can go free. Just have to remember that it's supposedly to be the jawline. So you need to be careful a little bit. Okay. Now what I need to do is to remake 
the nose so we don't have this thing so you need to remake it this little thing we don't have it on this nose so we are going to remake it all right i will just have to remove this little thing but as i said it's corrections and we can do it later okay so here it's a guy because it's scar so we want him to have like some hair so we can create some I like the small hair styles because if you do big hairs then I don't know but I like this it feels like you have more hair you know not too bad let me check we don't really see it here but yeah let's say it's okay it feels more like a guy than than like a girl okay he has this thing on his nose like i don't know that's details i'm going to to add later so here <coughs> and what i noticed on here i didn't really do I, like it's more round but if you check scar is more it's not really round but since it's a baby we don't want to push it too much otherwise it's going to look like a broken face and it's a baby did I put some hair over there yes but now when I check it scar doesn't have hair on the top of his ears so we won't add them today but i want to create smaller here because when i check here he has small not big ears let me check scar he still has a lot of here so we want just to do something like that so it's if you try to remake a cub like Scar, Mufasa or Zira, you need to base yourself on the real one and you need to try. Let's say that he is a cub, maybe he needs a bigger here. My French accent makes me speak funny sometimes. Some of you have complained about it, but honestly, if you are not able to understand someone else's accent, then it's bad, because in this world, you will have to get used to work with people from different countries. And it's what is interesting, actually, because you can meet amazing people so you need to get used to people accent but we have a cool accent you can't deny it well let's say it's not too bad okay because it's better but i don't want his let me see yeah see i really kept this one back then but I reduced it. So if you want to create Scar, if you want to create Mufasa, Mufasa one was kind of tricky. Um, I used a Simba picture and then I used a Mufasa one. But honestly, if you can see, maybe I will try to remake it. But if you see, for example, here and here, just so you see, this line i feel today i feel like it should do something more like that and if i erased this thing i think it should be something more like that well wow. back on taka or scar i will have to redo this part so my technique is to create those little hair feeling more like 
actual hair. You have to do a lot of hair, but closer, you know. You don't do something like that, for example. And, and then you will do something like that, and then something like that. Because I feel like if you do something more like that, and then you do something like that, and then you want to go more like that. For example, I feel this one is better than the first one. It feels more realistic. First, we need to do something not that complicated and then we go for example something like that and then I think <clears throat> you can do something like that well it doesn't look too too bad I think I think but then I'm not sure, but we will keep this one like that. It's different than Simba. Simba goes like that, you know. For example, but Scar it goes the other way, you know. It goes this way. Well. So, what we need to do is just to create those little hair and then just like the other ones, you can go crazy, so you create the way you want. I want to try to make this kind of wave because I want... Ooh, I have a monster in my stomach. Stomach. Well, it's not too bad, I think. It's not exactly the same, same, same I've done. But it doesn't look too, too bad. So that's what we call a base. When you have your... your drawing on a white screen. So we have, we have our bases, and now what you have to do is you just have to repaint tool. You pick up the color of scar, and then you return on here. You remove this one, and you do. Oh no, you can. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then you do feel. We here. If you keep your, as you can see, you can see those that the inside of Scar is selected. So this is why I can go crazy like that. If you are not selected, for example, if I do Control D, I'm not selected anymore. And if I paint, then it goes like that. And then you have to erase everything. To select the inside, you go on the top layer, while the base, you stay on the image, you click on control on your keyboard and then you click and then it will select and when you feel boom magic okay it feels a little weird with those colors but that's scar colors so we won't say anything okay oh we are almost done but we are not totally done because no, we can close Nada now. And we want the tongue. And we want to do his little hair over there. So for that, it's up to you. We never see if Scar is full like that. Or if he's like Simba, something more like that. So it's up to you what you want. We want to create the lighting 
and also you need to select all your layers you merge them you want to create of course a little white thing so you can either use use a either white so you can do something like that or if you don't want you can use this one or if you want something more you can get other kind of and you can do something like that it's up to you what you want I like the best I think I like those one now I like those now before I was using the those ones but now I like those I feel it's better you can duplicate and then you bring it here and you just have to get it a little bit smaller and we are done I think we are pretty much good we just need to add the things I usually forget about we are good and then you can add a little background if you want and ta-da we are pretty done with our cubs car so from Nala to Scar it was pretty easy and then you have the one the first one I've done he wasn't too bad honestly it was good it's not too bad maybe I think we could try something we could try to do something like that and something like that adding a little bit of contrast and light okay and then you can add a little curve so we want to do something like that and then something like that if you enjoyed you can leave a like to this video if you want more video or if you want more photoshop tutorials on specific things well then you can ask me directly on instagram because if you want to talk to me you can come to talk to me on instagram it's where i usually answer people i don't have facebook and twitter anymore because i wasn't using them i was never online on them on those pages so i didn't see the point in staying on facebook and twitter but yeah instagram is cool instagram and youtube is already an app it was fantastic on the first on how to turn Nala into Scar video Photoshop tutorials. I hope you enjoyed. You can leave a like, you can subscribe and you can share my video to your friends if you want or to people who want to learn how some tricks on Photoshop. And I'm gonna see you soon guys for another video. Get ready for the part four of spirits the origins it's gonna be the last part and you don't want to miss it so bye bye and take care